This one looks a little bit intimidating because there's a lot of negative signs, but this one's really pretty easy. We can take this power of negative 2 here and simply apply it to the numerator and to the denominator. So what this gives us is x to the negative 3 to the power of negative 2 in my numerator. And when I do x to the negative 3 raised to the power of negative 2, I'm taking an exponent and raising it to another power. And, and when I do that, I multiply the exponent. So it's a negative 3 times a negative 2 gives me a positive 6. So this is x to the power of positive 6. In the denominator, I have the y to the negative 2 raised to the power of negative 2. So I have to multiply the exponents. Negative 2 times negative 2 gives me a positive 4. So I have a y to the fourth in the denominator. And we're done. It can't be simplified any further. And the negative signs are all gone automatically. And that's just because the original exponents in here were negative, and this one's also negative. So when we multiply them together, the two negatives multiplied to give us a positive. So we're left with positive exponents in our answer, which is generally considered desirable. So we don't have to do anything else from here. x to the power of 6 over y to the power of 4.